Hey, this is David Sigowski, a.k.a. the Polish ambassador of Jumpsuit Records. It started off as just like a, a big comedy experiment for me like I was I was getting a marketing degree at University of Colorado and I needed an outlet because I really didn't enjoy what I was studying you know and I didn't really I was young and didn't really realize that I could just sort of stop studying that if I really wanted to so music was my creative outlet the, the reason I wanted to start Jumpsuit Records was because it was a way to to tour with people I really wanted to tour with essentially you know, there's, there's so many there's so many musicians that I've come across and that I've become friends with, and like to be able to shine a light on them and just be stoked to tour with them and also to collaborate with them. Uh, we were both playing at Envision in Costa Rica. We did a pre-party down there together, and um, uh, supposedly they really liked my music. And he had just relocated to Nevada City, where I live, and had started a new label. I was simultaneously working on a new record, and he asked me if I'd like to release a jumpsuit. I was stoked. I was finishing up my third solo album at the time, and I had I was starting to do work with the loop pedal, and so there were these songs that had beats, and it was the first time I actually recorded anything to a click. <laughs> and so I was, you know, checking out all the different producers at this dance that we had in Oakland. So Ayla and I met at this this. Um, event called Ecstatic Dance in Oakland and it's like it's this awesome environment where people just go to get down in like a I guess a sober environment. I actually didn't know his music at all. I had never even heard him. I had no idea he wore a jumpsuit. I had no idea any of it. Um, I just knew he was a really nice guy and we danced together and so that was fun. We just we shared a few dances and we got to know each other and and I was like can you remix my new song? She wanted me to re <laughs> remix her music, and I was like, oh, I don't know if I have time for that. But um, and we but, went on a hike. Yeah, we went on we went on a hike. We we set up a we set up a a, a time to make some music, and as it turned out, my computer crashed. Three and days before the hike. Three days before, and I, and I said, I was I was like, well, my computer's gone, but do you want to go on a hike? So we went on a hike, and we we started hanging out a little bit, and yeah, we we. We started making some music. Yeah. Some magical music. Yeah. <laughs> it just kind of happened really organically. We didn't really yeah. um, push it ever. I yeah. think it was kind of David being like, oh, hey, I really like that song you were playing on your guitar. Like, do you have those vocals? And then he made Live Inside a Dream. Yeah, Live Inside that. a Dream was the was, was the first the track that we did. And, and, and from then there, we just kept making more and more songs. The and response was so good. We were just like, oh, wow, we got to keep doing this. I had to work through a lot of the years, the stage fright, the like confidence, the, all of that, you know, and and so when David and I met, it was like this perfect timing of me being like, I'm ready to go now. And then at, at some point we were like, well, maybe we should call this something. Yeah. So, so wild light was what came. Yeah. The wild and the light and the, the energy of the music. Yeah. And that word. So here it is, a year later, yeah. growing fast. It is. It's exciting. <laughs> Yeah, so I just put out my, my new album uh, last fall, and then we just did a big national tour, uh, 23 shows. So having him, like, uh, support me has been huge. He kind of just introduced me to his whole family of fans, and um, yeah, it's been amazing. I've had just, like, so much new energy coming in and uh, people getting turned on to my music and stuff, so yeah, it's been big. That was about a year ago that Wild Light Records came out, and then I'd been wanting to work on my new solo album, and so I decided to do an album really focused on this idea of just being out of the way. All the songs on there, I feel like I didn't write them, they kind of just came through, and, and so it's me being a hollow bone in that way. And we decided to release it on Jumpsuit Records. Every previous album I've done, 
has been self-released. And so this one was really fun to have that help, to have it released through someone else and his audience. They were, had already taken to Wildlight so much. And so it was really exciting to, you know, I released it the day before our tour. Three days into the tour, there's people singing the lyrics in the front row that already are knowing the album. You know, just three days into the release is really exciting, and I would say it's it's very much in part because of of this collaboration and because of Jumpsuit and the way we're working together. And this is my first um, real festival season, actually, this summer, and so um, just to feel the response to my work and to Wildlight and in such a short amount of time is is um, yeah, it's really fun. I'm excited to see where it all leads. We're, we're organizing like a, a permaculture action tour while we're on the road. So we're gonna be cooperating with all sorts of local permaculture farms to have impact days. The people that are coming out to the shows can connect with people that are doing really awesome things in the communities that they live in that they may not, not even know about. What's up? This is the Polish ambassador at Sonic Bloom. Thank you guys so much for the support. Much love.